Every chance we get, we're going to show you the images of white supremacy slave culture. Now, as we show you these images, you'll have the tendency and the inclination to think that these are individuals engaging in the slave culture. Well, of course you're right on that. But this slave culture that you see is a result of the war that white supremacy has waged against the world. You must understand that what you're seeing halfway around the globe is the same thing that you see in your own backyard. You'll erroneously believe that because these white supremacists build schools, build hospitals, build playgrounds, that they're doing some type of noble thing. But you have to understand that they build the schools to make you the fool. They build the hospitals because the medical field is big business. You must remember that capitalism is the foundation or part of the foundation of white supremacy. And capitalism stands for wealth over health. Wealth over individual health, wealth over community health, and wealth over world health. So it's important that you break your allegiance, break your pledge of allegiance to the white man. It's important that you dedicate your life to putting it into white supremacy so we can maintain and restore harmony on the planet Earth. And your old buddy, Rifkin. So, uh, Rifkin's picking up his morning pack of cigarettes. And then we're off to school. Do you think you'll ever be able to get Rifki to quit smoking? Kalau menurut saya saya nggak bisa. Kalau buat berhenti di rumah saya bisa, tapi kalau untuk berhenti maksudnya saya kan nggak bisa mantau 24 jam. Saya nggak. Why do you think Rifki started smoking? Like who do you think is to blame for that? Besar itu dari sebagian 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 kecil itu iklan. Kadang-kadang tuh di sini itu jeleknya itu bebas untuk dirokok khususnya di bawah umur. Nggak seperti kayak di luar kan harus minimal harus ada KTP. Kalau di sini tuh bebas. Jadi after school let out, Rifki and his pals took us to their neighborhood smoking spot, the old Chinese graveyard. Yeah, just take a right at the um, cigarette-sponsored badminton court. So this is the, uh, this is the cool kids' spot. What's up, guys? Hey, tempat, tempat, tempat. Ini anak-anak merokok, merokok. This is a real all-ages group. This is like, um, kind of like the castle, like Indonesian little rascals here. How long have you smoked? What do you like about smoking? Do you grumps your care if you smoke? This scene isn't uh, really kosher by American standards, but um, a number of adults have walked by and a couple of them have kind of like clucked, but nobody's, uh, nobody's raising the alarms. While smoking is firmly entrenched with Indonesian males, only about 5% of girls have picked up the habit. Oliver here is 12 and has been smoking since she was nine. Why did you start smoking? What what do you like about smoking? Do do girls typically like boys who smoke? Smoking's manly image is reinforced by pervasive advertising. America banned cigarette ads on TV and radio in 1971. No, you don't see many wild stallions anymore. Come to Marlboro country. Indonesia not only still advertises on TV and radio, they advertise it everywhere. You see cigarette ads on every street corner, on playground basketball courts, on posters for major concerts and sporting events. They even sponsor schools like the Samparna Academy. Named after the same family that sold Samparna cigarettes to Philip Morris. It's as if we had a school called Marlboro Prep. We've seen uh, Marlboro branded uh, uh, baby clothes and toys. Chris Bostick is deputy director of Action on Smoking and Health, one of the biggest anti-smoking lobbyist groups in the U.S. They can target children and use cartoons. They can target children in ways that would be unstomachable here anymore. 
hard is it to like fight tobacco use? Ini sangat berat karena perlawanannya justru bukan dari dari industri rokok. Pemerintah yang melawan terhadap upaya pengendalian tembakau itu justru uh, hal yang aneh. The government's kid glove approach makes sense when you consider tobacco here as a hundred billion dollar a year industry. Again, capitalism stands for wealth over health, and capitalism is part of the foundation of white supremacy. So you must break your Pledge of Allegiance to the white man.